what's going on everybody welcome back we're going to talk about ravagers and ultron today this is one that a couple people suggested i try out as we're waiting for star lord t'challa to arrive they said that you know ultron does have synergy with villain tech a couple of these characters and the ravager team do have villain tech tags on them so it was a it was a natural fit for this character to uh for ultron to fit into the ravager so we're going to try him out here we did just get playtest access to all the new characters so web warriors star lord t'challa and we're gonna basically just gonna go test them out uh we're stuck waiting for 24 hours before we can participate in war which means war testing won't start until later tonight and i had joined just after they started the raid so um we'll have a lot of content for the next week or two just play testing these characters seeing what they can do if you guys do find this video helpful you do enjoy it make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel and uh yeah I mean, let's just go ahead and dive right into it with your uh with your ultron and ravagers talk a little bit about them and then uh just show some different footage of different battles just so you have an idea of what to expect with this team so this is my uh these are my ravagers right up here at the top you can see i've got yondu at tier 14 the other ones at tier 12. i did drop a couple of t4s on them the ultimate here for yondu because that gives him the extra piercing and focus per ravager ally don't really need to worry about that focus he does just fine without the boosted focus from his passive but yeah he's uh that piercing damage on that ultimate's very very helpful especially since he's gonna have offense up pretty much all the time because of this special this uh he's gonna summon a ravager boomer or a ravager stitcher 80 percent chance to summon a second ally we've talked about this t4 in another video if you guys want to go for it by all means go for it but Without this T4, you can summon up, you can summon two boomers or two stitchers. It's a it's a fun little T4. But um, yeah, that's my one T4. And then the other T4 I have on this team is going to be on Ravager Boomer with his with his passive here, because this always assists on non-minion Ravager allies. Once you have T'Challa, this does get much better. But you know, for now, you don't really need it. Once you get T'Challa, that's when this really gets much better because there's only one non-minion Ravager ally right now. So it is what it is, but I've got it preemptively just for when we finally do get T'Challa in the future. No T4s in those two characters, and yeah, I'm not going to really go into detail about what I've got on those. But these are my T, these are my ISO on them: Striker on Yondu, Skirmisher on Boomer and Bruiser. You know, Boomer does assist a lot, so yeah, the Skirmisher makes sense for him. And Bruiser Skirmisher on him, I'm going to take him up to tier five eventually because we do want to boost up this focus. This focus is pretty putrid right now. And you need to make sure that he's able to steal buffs and apply those uh, those negative effects through his basic, like right here on enemy protectors, applying defense down. And then if you do the T4 for this in the future, apply disrupted. That's pretty good. You're gonna you're gonna want that because that's very helpful for finding those protector characters. So yeah, these are these are my T4s right now. And um, yeah, let's just go right back into the footage and show you just some of the success I've had with this team. So first up, we've got Emma Rodgers here and. It's a it's a significant punch up, but really Ultron just kind of Ultron's really kind of carrying it. But also Ultron can uh, can kind of leave things in a bit of a sketchy state because you have two summoning characters. You have Yondu and you have Ultron who are both doing summons, and that can uh, that can make things really sketchy because of the uh, the fact that Yondu's going to summon two Ravagers, then Ultron's going to summon three bots, and then your whole field is full. So it's not exactly the best, but you know, just for the fun of it, we're trying it. And every time Ultron does kill someone, he does extend the buffs of all villain tech allies by one. So all your boomers, all your stitchers, wherever they are on the field, they're going to get buffs extended on them. And really also one thing I really love is this hell steal with Ravager Stitcher. It does it. It's like a, it's like a damaging ability and a healing ability all in one. It's really nice. I love it. But yeah, we're uh, we're buffing up Ultron. We're gonna let him go here with his ultimate. Boom! There you go. Extend the buffs on your on your villain tech characters. Use the ultimate there. Does some solid damage. And now we're gonna focus on killing uh, killing Mister Sinister. See if we can get him finished off. Get that taunt on Ravager Bruiser. And Mister Sinister's almost down. Now we're gonna talk about this because we go against Doc Ock. And there's some really interesting passive interactions there that we're, we'll talk about because I thought maybe they were bugged. It's the way that passives now interact with, uh, with, or with, uh, with Hellsteel interacting with passives and stuff. It's, it's, it's all, it's all weird. You're going to see it. You're going to see it end on display when we go against that doc team. But 
Uh, there's nothing to really say here with Emma. I mean, you're just kind of you're just kind of killing the team like you would. It's basically like Power Armor Ultron. It, it's really the same deal. You kind of use your your Power Armor to do damage and build up vulnerable on someone. Let Ultron finish them off. Extend durations. Everybody's happy. So there you go. Now the the speed bar removal with Boomer is also very helpful here because due to Emma and the and the minus speed with her passive, all your characters have negative 10% speed. So, you know, that speed bar removal and gain with Boomer is very helpful too. Just gains more buffs. You can see Yondu is just getting buffs all the time. He's like he's like Ultron but even better with all those buffs. And it's a shame that you can't extend them until you get T'Challa in the future. And once you get T'Challa, he can extend the buffs on Ravager allies. And that makes uh that basically means like if Yandu just keeps keeps stealing buffs, Yandu's just gonna be perma like stealth, all this offense up, defense up, regeneration. Or no, he doesn't extend regeneration, but he will extend other effects. So it, it's really it's really fun watching uh watching Yandu steal all these effects and knowing that once we get T'Challa in the future, T'Challa is gonna extend those buffs on Yandu and it's just gonna make him go crazy. And speaking of Doc, let's just go ahead and cover this one. This is about a punch across. And you're going to learn pretty quickly how things have changed with the with the health steal and passives because you're going to see it all here on display. So a couple of things to note is that the the health steal or the buff steal with Yondu can be blocked. And you're going to see it here in a second. There you go. Blocks everything. But look at all those buffs that Yondu just got. Um... Let's see if we can slow that down just a little bit for you guys to see. Let it uh, do damage to Ultron. Blocks everything. But then it triggers the heal on Doc. And this is one I am also going to forward to Scopely because they're always, they're always very specific about passives not triggering passives because they don't want to go down that road. This is a passive buff steal triggering a passive heal on doc so i'm sure it's intentional but you never it never hurts to check just to make sure because that one's weird um but yeah so the buff steal with yondu can be blocked we've seen this with skill terry skill terry can be blocked i know merc soldiers buff steal is unblockable his whole special mechanic is unblockable but i know like on punisher if he tries his special it can be blocked if the character has deflect so i'm sure yeah, this is this is something that's interesting. And if you look at it, he actually steals quite a bit of deflect. I mean, it's all there. He only steals it says he only steals one stack, but you can see quite a few stacks of deflect are gone. So I who knows? But a lot of regeneration on Yondu now, which which was really, really funny. Getting himself offense up and defense up and stealth, buffing everybody. And now the fun begins. So we're gonna try to put heal block on Doc. Also, we could try to steal some buffs from these other characters. Like we tried to steal the regeneration from uh, from Shocker or from Shocker, and that did not work because the special from Ravager Bruiser tries to steal, and it didn't. It didn't steal regeneration, so I don't think you can steal regeneration actually. But yeah, there we go. Heal block on Doc, which is exactly what we want to go for. Start removing speed bar, speed up Ultron. We're going to try to kill Shocker here, just so we don't have that offense up on the uh, on characters. There we go. Yondu steals the rest of the buffs. Yondu just steals everything. It's fantastic. And also, you can't see it. Yondu has 14 buffs right now, like, that are hidden. He has all the regenerations that Doc gave out. Like, that's so... I, I enjoy that. That's really funny. I thought that was... I thought it was funny. Maybe it's just me. There we go. Kill off a couple characters. And now you have to deal with Doc. And this is where things are going to get sketchy. This is where you have to be careful because we're going to do some health steal here. And this is where this is where I learned the hard way that the health steal from Ravager is going to trigger the passive on Doc. Because I do the health steal here, steals the health from Doc, but drops him down low. And that triggers his passive. Which now clears heal block, gives him speed bar, and he gets off his ultimate. But now we just kill him with the ultimate from Ultron. Not a big deal. But yeah, if you didn't know, because they talked about this, we knew that 
health steal effects were getting changed. Your old, your OG ones like Phoenix, like Minerva, like Ebony Maw were not getting changed where they would still ignore death proof. And now your health steal abilities will also trigger passives. And I forgot about that part. So yeah, just keep in mind that if you are going to be using the health steal from Ravager Stitcher to, uh, to take characters low on health, be careful of this. Also, yeah, yeah, just make sure you know, or make sure you keep this in mind so that you can avoid this kind of thing. Because really what I could have done was just use that health steal on, from Stitcher on like Swarm or Mysterio, drop them low on health, and just save the ultimate for Ultron onto Doc. And I, that's what I should have done. And that was a, that was a mistake on my part. But now I know for the future to not do that. So there we go. Kills off Doc. It's really just getting the heal block from Stitcher onto Doc, and you're good to go. Now, that's where that's where the summons with Yondu, like I have a tier 14 Yondu, my summons, they're going to be pretty strong in that department. Like my, my normal Ravager Stitcher is only tier 12, so it's going to be very difficult for him to apply heal block, but the summon from Yondu won't have that issue because he's tier 14, going to have that boosted focus, so it's not as bad. And uh, yeah, there we go. Just finishing him off. Boom. Done. Um... Yeah, like I I'm really I'm really enjoying this team. This one is this one's gonna be fun until we get T'Challa. I mean, once we get T'Challa, this team's gonna really take off. That's that's much better for for Ravagers. But Ultron and uh, Ultron with your Ravagers right now, they're not a bad team. I mean, it will take out the likes of Emma and Doc. Not quite up to the tier that we were expecting with your normal Ravagers, but that makes sense because T'Challa is gonna be a very important part of that team. He gives them a 50% bonus health. Gives them a huge, or, uh, yeah, he does really help them with, uh, with building up the team. Also, the, uh, the ability to steal energy, or the, uh, uh, sorry, the ability to steal energy is going to be very helpful with that special, too. So, yeah, the bonus damage, the bonus health that you get with T'Challa is going to be very important for Stitcher, so, or for Ravagers in general. So, until you get T'Challa, consider using Ultron with, uh, with your Ravagers. Just see what you can do. But that's going to wrap it up for me, guys. Let me know what you guys think down below. If you guys are working on your Ravagers, if you're ignoring them, what do you guys think? As always, make sure to hit that like button, share, and subscribe. I will see you guys next time.